Hey guys, what's up? My name's Luke and I recently just got a T300 RS Ferrari steering wheel and today I'm going to show you how I've set it up in my room for my sim racing. So as we walk in, what I've put here is my original steering wheel. I'll just move in a little, there we go. So this is was like super cheap. It was terrible, everything is really cheap, the buttons are just have no tactile and it has, that's lock, it has 270 degrees of rotation, no force feedback and bungee return. It was terrible. Like I've been using this for years now, somehow it's still together, but when I press the upshift, it also pressed like another button down here which meant that I lost the function of a button down here that I could use for other controls. And it might seem really small, but when you're driving cars that you need tons of buttons for, it was getting really annoying. And I just feel like I've been sim racing for a long time and I wanted a good upgrade, so that is why I bought myself one of these. So I'll move my seat again. So. This is how I have it set up. So it's clamped to the desk, and then currently I'm using my laptop on a shoebox to prop it up. Um, don't I know a lot of you will be like, oh, why do you have such a good steering wheel bit that you're using a laptop? I am getting a monitor very soon. So yeah, please don't give me any crap if you're gonna write a comment, even though most of you probably won't. So I have this uh, the wheelbase is just clamped to the desk, you know, schoolboy style. Just zoom you out a little bit there. Yep. So, sitting in my chair here, which is actually a Ford racing chair, so it's really nice and makes you feel like you're kind of in the car. So, I've had this for years, really happy with it. I have no idea where you get them from these days, but yeah, no, that it's really cool to have and you know, makes sim racing even cooler but onto the wheel so we have all these buttons here which are so much nicer than the old one like it's metal compared to plastic Alcantara is something I'm really happy to have this thing feels so nice in your hands like it is professional quality whereas this is rubber and because I'm so worried about the Alcantara, I did buy myself some gloves. These were just from work. I got them for like $25 or something. They're actually pretty comfy, but it's just to protect the material because I like this uh, steering wheel so much. It's the first nice sim racing equipment I've ever had, and I want to keep it nice. But yeah, back to the steering wheel. So obviously, what most of you probably know is the quick release at the back. So I can change this out. Um, it's got metal up, uh, metal paddle shifters, metal wheel construction. The base is plastic, but it's actually good plastic. It's not like the plastic from my old wheel. And so yeah, really nice shifters, really nice tactile buttons. Um, yeah, just couldn't be happier with the way it feels. There is one thing that I have with it though. We'll have to get underneath to show you this one so the way my desk is made is I don't know if you can see it really well but there's just this wood strip that runs here that's a little bit further down from where the desk height is and so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to build something to or like get a piece of wood to make uh, the main part of the desk the same level as this low part because currently it's kind of half clamped on to the low part and yeah it it holds but it is kind of sketch not going to lie so that's something that i'll have to sort out but that's not a fault of the wheel obviously that's just the way that my desk was made and there's no way around that so yeah i'll pull these pedals out real quick and i'll just put them on my chair and this was another major upgrade for me this brake pedal I don't even have the conical mod installed. I'll grab that one real quick. Yep, 
Okay, maybe not real. Yeah, so this is the conical mod. What it does is it kind of just, sure most of you already know this, especially if you're looking at a T300, but it slides in and then it adds progression to the brake pedal. But I already think it has enough pressure, especially considering my old set had zero pressure at all. Like the clutch on this is what my brake used to feel like. So it was like nothing. One thing I don't really like about these pedals is I personally think the accelerator is a little too light. Like I know an accelerator is a bit lighter than a clutch, but I do have a bit of a lead foot, so it's probably just me, but yeah, I find this a little too light. So I might put a stress ball behind there, you know, Jimmy Broadbent style and make that a little more uh, solid, you could say. But yeah, no, I'm really happy with the way these pedals are. They are plastic, but they have a good foot rest, which means that your feet aren't half on here and half on the pedals and half on the ground. None of that. In fact, I'll just put them back down. Like, yeah, as you can see here, sorry for making you look at my feet, but yeah, my feet are on these pedals. I can easily press all the pedals, no worries. It's really comfy. I feel like I could sit here for hours. So yeah, that is my quick overview of my new wheel, the way I have it set up with my 15.6 uh, inch laptop. But yeah, no, I will be getting that monitor soon, which I'm sure will change things a lot, but I am so happy to finally have force feedback and have something that just feels nice and professional. So thank you for watching this video. If you were ever looking at buying a T300, especially if you're upgrading from something like what I had, I could not recommend it enough. This is incredible. I am really happy that I got one of these. And yeah, I will definitely be sticking with Thrustmaster until I, I guess, upgrade to a direct drive wheel. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press that like button. Thank you.